Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number 8. And we're going up against an alliance called ISO 8B. These guys are tough. We faced them before. They are always tough opponents. And this war proves no different. All right, so as you all know, if you have been watching my war videos, I take path one in section one. And as you see, they did not place a defender on that first node. That's a common thing. Uh, you want to consolidate your really tough defenders on the tougher nodes. So here I'm dealing with Hyperion. And that gave me a little bit of a concern only because when Hyperion wants to act really passively, he can be annoying. But this is Gladiator Hulk. And so the first thing I'm trying to do is bait out specials. Once I saw Hyperion throwing his specials, I relaxed a little bit more because that meant this AI is going to be, you know, a little free with their specials. So no problems there. Uh, they did not place with suicides. Um, I mentioned that because we are not placing with suicides, but in this war, I messed up. Uh, I was teaching a class when the defenseman placement uh, was ending. And the reason I hadn't placed earlier is because we were deciding uh, to swap out one of my defenders for another defender and I was still waiting for them to let me know which of the defenders um, that I had as alternates they wanted me to place. And I didn't hear anything. And so in the middle of class, I get this message, you know, um, uh, uh, place your defenders. And I'm just like, oh man, I forgot. So I run over there, place my defenders real quick and get back to the class. But I forgot to turn off my suicides. So I'm like, oh man, and I didn't know that until way after when folks were talking about this person or that person has suicides on and, you know, all of that. I was like, oh man, I forgot. Oh, so I let everyone know. And they were like, oh man, because I had at least two of my uh, defenders were mini bosses. So that gave them an easier time there. I didn't look at the um, the deaths, but I don't know if any of my defenders even got a kill. I really don't. Um, I need to check that more often so I could see. But usually the officers do that because it helps them um, see what is more effective and where. So as you saw, we were able to get down uh, Hyperion without too much difficulty. Now we are in section two and you see that I'm boosting up. Uh, I'm boosting up for a couple of reasons. One, we are trying to get back in platinum. And so boosting is mandatory. And while I didn't boost for the first section, I don't believe um, that's okay because it's the first section. Uh, and they do want us to conserve items as well. But for the uh, second section, boost. You're fighting minis, boost. Okay? And so that's what you see me doing here. And I'm going in with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. And as you see, he is still putting it down. I know a lot of people don't like Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, but I use him every war. Okay? He is part of my team. Now, with recent rank ups, that might change. I may decide to bring in uh, one of my more recent rank five champions. If you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, you may see it in later Alliance War. Right now, I put that champion in Alliance Quest to test, but you may see that champion in uh, later wars. Or you can just look at my latest rank up. It's my 23rd rank five five star. Okay, now you'll notice that I am boosting up and the reason for that 
is we are very serious about wars right now. We're trying to get back into platinum. We're in very good shape. Uh, we've only lost one war so far this season. All right, so we're in good shape to get back to platinum. Uh, whether it's platinum four or platinum three, doesn't matter. We want to get back in platinum. Now, I did not take any of the minis on the left side. However, this next fight here is against magic. And I remember looking at this magic and thinking my Gladiator Hulk would be perfect. I just recently ranked up Gladiator Hulk, and he does quite well against magic. Now, uh, I know one of my alliance mates was thinking that I could uh, do a little power control because there's flow going on as a global tactic. So every time you crit, they gain power. And she is a control champion. So that only applies to control champions. And magic is a control champion. That is why you see with half health there, uh, he went in, he tried. But that power gain is insane. All right. And I showed you guys there what the uh, defense tactic flow two does. All right. So I'm going in here with my gladiator hulk. And you saw I boosted up because I did not want to lose. Uh, these guys that I'm fighting with uh, in my alliance are really good. And so if he uh, died to this magic and only took her down to half, I was like, oh boy, I'm going to be in trouble. And remember that the uh, special two is what gives him a little bit of power control, but that node is a special lock one. So I wasn't able to do that. However, the special lock one could at least keep her from healing back up from limbo. That was my thoughts as well. And you saw we didn't have any problem finishing magic off. I don't know how we would have done if we had gone in there with her at full, but we did at least manage to take her down. All right, now you see uh, at this point, the, uh, the war is really, really close, and I think it's one death off, okay? We have them by, I think, one death, uh, one kill. And as you see, the discussions were made. Everyone picked a mini that they had a good counter for, and now it's against the boss, and so discussions were had. You see that we only have about 20 minutes left. And they were like, well, your Spider-Man Stark Enhance is probably our best bet against that domino. Do you think you can solo her? I said, no, I do not. However, I'm willing to try and see how we go. If I fight perfectly, she's either going to go down or she's going to be close and then someone else can follow up and then just finish her off and at least we'll still get an attack bonus. You know, won't get the one shot, but at least an attack bonus. So they said, all right, go ahead and try. So what you see me doing here is I'm boosting up because this is it. Now I'm not gonna use my 30% boost uh, because I wanna save those for special occasions. However, I figure with all those boosts, we should be good. And you see, I got kicked out because of the timer. I took too long, was thinking. Uh, but the heal actually went through because I wanted to heal him up to full, then apply that health boost. And you'll notice that I have a lot of boosts. A lot of them were capped out. The tech power boost was in the store. So I was able to use it. Um, yeah, now the uh, attack boost is not in the store, but I was able to get back my uh, tech power boost. Uh, let me see, I used it here. Yeah, all right, so that 200% tech, I was capped out, it's in the store, and I'm now capped out again. Okay, so it was perfect, perfect timing. All right, and you see there, I went ahead and popped in a vulnerability boost, just in case, but honestly, the invulnerability boost doesn't help all that much because you don't want to get hit. All right, so we're going in. 
Now, one thing that I normally do with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, I usually build up his poise charges. But against Domino, that can be detrimental because she can crit fail you. All right? Now, I want you guys to notice this fight. I am playing as best as I know how to play. Uh, maybe someone else can. I am running suicides. Now, here's the thing with suicides. With the specials, I'm going to be taking recoil damage. However, because of the suicides, I'm doing more damage so I can get her down a little bit faster. Okay, so you see there, I fired off one special one. And I was kind of surprised, but against Domino, I shouldn't be surprised uh, that I didn't get back almost two bars of power. Uh, I believe there's something that it doesn't, doesn't work. Um, either she crit failed it or there's something, I, I don't remember. But you see here, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. She's not touched me. All right. And you see here, I'm trying to play even more aggressive. I fired off another special two here. Okay. And, you know, again, not as much uh, power as I wanted uh, back from that boost. Uh, Ghost works great with that boost, but apparently it's not working very well for uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, at least against Domino. All right. So you see here, and I go down. All right. Gave it my best. Did the best that I could. Um, and you can see here, I even took a screenshot to show everyone the results. 56 hits, never got touched, still died. Domino is so very fun to fight. Fun and interactive. Now, whether I would have been able to beat her had I not been running suicides is debatable. You know, I did more damage, so that was less time for the crit failures to eat away at my health because I didn't get hit. I only fired off two specials, I believe. So that's only 10% damage, you know, that I was taking back. So I don't know if that would have helped uh, not running suicides or not. But while Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is a great option for uh, Domino, uh, when you're dealing with the boss like that and she's really stacked, you know, I kind of predicted that this is exactly what would happen. I was hoping that I would be able to manage to get her down and that I was wrong, but it actually went exactly the way that I expected it to. All right, so the war is tight. My loss in this battle meant we were now tied for kills. And if my alliance mate coming after me wasn't able to take her down in one go, then we would now be at a disadvantage. Um, so we'll be back and you'll be able to see what happened. Uh, he was able to get her down and we are now just really wondering what it's gonna come down to. Uh, everyone's got 100% exploration. Uh, we're hoping we got them on diversity and that some of their kills don't count. All right, so let's take a little break and we'll be back to find out how we did. All right, we got 30 seconds left in this war and it is an extremely close war. I have no idea uh, who's gonna pull out ahead. Uh, maybe we get them on diversity. Maybe they got us on um, attack bonus, but we're going to find out together. But this war was a very hard fought war. And as you saw, I wasn't able to uh, get the boss down in one shot. So let's find out. Uh, let's see. History. And we got them, yes, okay, we got them, nice, let me see, oh man, that is a close war. I was feeling bad because I didn't get that one shot and I was telling them that that was more than likely what was gonna happen if I went in there with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced that I would get a lot of crit failures. And of course I'm running suicide, so every time I fired off my specials, I was taking the recoil damage. I was hoping that I'd be able to do some damage to her uh, and possibly get her close to death, if not down, before she took me out. 
but I figured that was what was going to happen, that she would take me out. I played perfectly, didn't get hit or anything like that, but just could not get her down. But we won, and let's do it. Let's, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. That's going to do it. Um, ISO 8B, always a tough opponent, and this time proved no different. Very tough. And I'm very happy that we won this one. So take care, everyone. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.